See, the real thing to be scared of is what if the robots try to evolve us themselves to fit their purposes, and there's These nothing we can do to stop them. Kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. Ooh. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Hmm, energy harvesting, colonial system. Hmm, energy harvesting. Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. Yeah, that'd be a fun use for them. Otherwise, I mean, the defense system? Not a very good defense system if I can just keep on walking like this and they don't really, like, react to me unless I, like, specifically touch them. Uh, the astrogator says stay away from them, so I won't try to touch them. I almost did. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So then we'll most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. That's right, Doctor. You can lose everything else, but you have to have the crew on board. The living and the dead. This is one of the most crucial imperatives, even though it's not in the regulations. Roger that, sir. Gotta find Gorsi dead or alive. Mm. The color of the area is shifting away from, like, the drab dead gray and green back to a more deserty red rust mm. ash sand the line's breaking up but I understood I'll let you know sir when I come out of the tunnel oh boy e yep just gonna, I guess, walk through the bushes. They aren't reacting to me. I actually feel nervous about the window that lets me see outside. Okay. Hopper uh, has landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. We're on the ground now. Can you hear me? Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. <laughs> yeah, as long as I don't trip and fall somewhere and hit my head, that would be pretty bad. Alright. 
I don't think there's anything else for me to take from here. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. <laughs> hey, you were there with me! Can I lower this? Oh, I guess I can just climb into it. This is- this thing looks fucked up! It's sparking in the inside! I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. Well, then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Roger that, sir. Anything that I can take from here? We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time. That's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. All right. We gotta make your way up to the north. I'll take the left path. Seems a little bit faster. I wonder if he, has, if he has to wait for the ship to cool down a little bit. The hopper. The good news? Whoa. That's an intense sight. What the fuck? Are those just supposed to be like wispy clouds going all over the place? Jesus. Too far out for me to get a good zoom on them. Shoot. Status? What's new? Well, nothing really. At least not in the last five oh. seconds, huh? Damn. Right. You were right, Thank Cobble. You. No, stop interrupting each other! Uh, the dialogue is a significant portion of the game, and yet it's so easy to just walk and fucking interrupt shit. There should always be like a cue system in a game like this, with like the audio. Like, unless my character's falling to their death, or getting I have killed. An object in sight. Shouldn't be accidentally like interrupting shit over and over and over again. It sucks. Whoops. Wrong button. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning oh. Where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Alright, yeah. Need to find the, right route. the ocean's beautiful out here, at least. A shame the oxygen <laughs> here would just leave you stupefied. You could probably eat the fish on this planet and be fine. Maybe. That's something for a biologist to look up, right? This is the rope down. Only I could change the past. Grab that rope. So that future me can have an extra one. <laughs> they stopped for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? 
I found a cigarette butt and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. <laughs> Preserving the integrity of Regis III's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Hey, now there's fish! Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. What are you saying, Yasna? The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Hmm. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. What do I got here? You didn't even finish smoking all your cigarettes! I guess we just take that with us. Yeah, I definitely don't think you should be smoking on a alien planet if if one of the agreed upon risks was yeah, you might set fire to the atmosphere with you on it. Go smoke in the lander or something. And hey, at least they didn't throw the cigarettes into the ocean or something. It's weird that he says that, like, oh, the ecosystem is extinct. But, like, we... They caught living fish. <laughs> Alright? The ecosystem's not extinct. It's just currently displaced. In the ocean. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm this rate will reach the camp within an hour. What's up with this little path over here? <laughs> okay. I feel like the biologist should have been sent out as soon as they at least saw the fish. It's weird that they waited days. Like, they found the fish as like one of the first things and they caught a fish. That's an alien life. What the fuck else am I supposed to be doing as a biologist? We found a convenient passage. Excellent. Please speed ahead. You still have a long way to go. Well then, you should save your breath, Astrogator. I love how prior to the emergency, we have a little bit more of an attitude against the astrogator. Oh, hey. The bushes. The plants. Fake plants. What is this? Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Thank you, Astrogator. Ooh. Uh, uh, getting a little dizzy here, Astrogator. Oh. I feel nauseous. Suddenly. <laughs> That's not it. I feel... Darkness. Uh, hello. Uh, I gotta wait for the plants. <sighs> oh. Ooh. Okay. 
those plants are dangerous, at least in their current location. Was I supposed to stay in there and fucking pass out? Because I didn't. Figured maybe I, I had a chance to get the fuck out of there. Um... Astrogator, I walked away from the substance that was making me pass out. Sir? Do you want me to go back in and pass out? Yes, sir. Everything's all right? Oh. Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. No worries, sir. I can't open up anything. Alright, I'm gonna go bass out. Things didn't make me pass out this time around, at least. What does the comic book have to say about this? During the search of the last crew member, Dr. Gorski, Yasna uses a metal detector to track underground structures. The lander returns to the Dragonfly with Artie and secured crew members on board. Yasna talks to Novik about the future of cybernetics. She sees opportunities for development and prosperity in autonomous systems. According to her, robots will eventually become equal to humans. Yasna doesn't find G Dr. Gorski in his last known position. To continue the research, she enters an area with limited radio coverage. Yasna recalls what she saw sim uh, when she saw similar metal pushes before, at the very beginning of the mission, just before the accident and her memory loss. Let me get this. Ashika Novik, Novik decides to send Dr. Yasna to the plant surface in order to find the crew. While looking for companions, Yasna comes across metal bushes and she suddenly is paralyzed by a terrible headache. Dazed, she stumbles and falls off a cliff. Okay, well, the cliff didn't look like that. I fell back and... <laughs> we fell back a very small distance. Still a dangerous distance to land if you land backwards and hit your head, but yeah. Are you there? Over. <sighs> I guess that's a no. Even with the opening here? Wow. That's a lot of interference. Or he's just not at a communication system. Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. You've had the time. Oh, hell yeah. <sighs> yes. Maybe them. But Maritz. You're too hard on yourself, Yasna. As usual. But, but if I... Please stop. If it's a very cruel word, you don't deserve it to talk it. I do wonder. It seems like I maybe could have potentially had Crowda die. It might have been a choice thing, whereas if I had gone after Merit as soon as possible, we find Merit, but Crowda dies in exchange. Like, one of them has to die. But maybe there was a way to save them both. I don't know. Guess I know where Gorska was going. No structures are continuing. I confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? Let's find out. You know... <sighs> I'm going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit... Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes. I am considering that as a possibility. And what is your opinion? The fuck Should is a grave tapper? Look into our brain. The more we know, 
the better chance we have to help others. I see. Marit would have been happy to know that even in death, she was doing something for them. Whoa! Shit! <sighs> One sec. Fucking hell. How about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? I'm still in the air. I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight. No, not a chance. Luna, hey! Wait. I could, I could do that. I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. All right, so do you have another idea? Use Luna! Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes! Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. Fuck it, let's try it! All right, let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. Uh, try... One meter forward. One meter forward. Uh, it's still too far. I'll try one more meter then. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Can you do like one third of a meter? <sighs> Is the maneuver complete? <laughs> Woo! You could say so. <sighs> I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing though. <clears throat> Nice. All right. We're dead. We're definitely like having, you know, making choices here that are making a difference. Yasna finds Gorski's rope. She slides down it, but gets stuck a few meters above the ground. Having no better choice, she follows Novik's advice and descends on the probe. Yeah, that should have been the first thought. You've got a fucking probe hovering in the air right next to you. Of course, that was the, the call. You know, I didn't expect it to fly off with me. I just needed to, like, soften the landing a little bit. And as I was gonna say before we started going down the rope, Luna's randomly taking, like, flash pictures of us. I had last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. Anyway... What's the Damn. idea of doing it alone? This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Yeah, holy shit. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Aliens! <sighs> Left or right? The height of the entire complex is over 100 meters. Even 150. And all made of this metal? To a significant degree. Is something worth to live here? Yes. 
It would have to be very small. Like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. So, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. I mean, this place is pretty astounding. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. Well, I admit, that sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. They are going bit by bit. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms. That's pretty check banged the up. History. Please give me a moment. Have you chosen where to go? I'm still wondering. There's no time to hesitate, Doctor. We need to take decisive action. There's a bridge, a clearance. Okay. Gap, blocked way, clearance. Well, uh, I could either try and go over the dangerous edge, or I can try going over here to the left through a gap. I'm going this way. All right. I'll squeeze through the passage. Okay, well, now that I've seen that the passage has even more... more hours. Huh? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, there is a risk of methane poisoning. That's right. According to Dr. Krauter, negative symptoms can appear after an hour. Maybe after a few hours. I think you'll find Gorski by then. Let's hope so. What's this about? These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. It's hard for me to imagine that any biological forms could survive here. The interiors of these structures are filled to the brim with wires and rods. So maybe this metal builds up somehow, by itself. Oh. You've already said something similar before. Just after landing, when you found those bushes. Yes. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why the two lines had to be separated there. The... <laughs> Our first option was like, it could be from an extinct civilization, and then the second option was like, the metal grows itself. Why can't it be both? Why can't it have been an extinct civilization that made How's the terrain? metal grow the itself? Structures. Are they still everywhere? Yep, wherever I look, there's metal. Um, I can't tell if any of this could be part of a machine. Really wish we found Gorski already. Well, we're on the right path. I've gone over everything in that area. Ah, I see the probe. Has it found anything? It's not making any measurements at the moment. Oh, why? The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Hmm. Oh, is it because of my flight? It's possible, but please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. Wouldn't it be better if I helped you? I can close it manually, after all. I'd need some directions first. I had to bring it to you. No problem. I'm on it. 
First, let's find a place where I can land it. Otherwise, you won't be able to help me, Doctor. Yeah, where I'm currently located is pretty good. There. I found the right place. All right, then. I'm waiting for instructions. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what direction it's facing. Rotate the probe 100 degrees to the Rotate left. Rotate the probe 120 degrees. Okay, now. Mm, rotate it some more. Please rotate the probe 40 degrees. Yeah, that's good enough. Ten meters forward. Damn, even that wasn't enough. Uh, three more uh, meters another forward. Three meters forward. Okay, ninety degrees to the right and seven meters forward. Uh, we'll go first, with first one. Forty-five degrees to the right. And then four meters forward. Two more meters to the right. Uh, two meters forward. Land. Slowly, slowly. All right, probe. Luna, we're gonna get you all fixed up. What are we doing here? Come on, put your back into it, Yasna. Oh, don't be angry. It's not anger, it's a warning sign. I know, I know. You're welcome, Luna. Antenna? Uh, the antenna's a little bent. Should I do something about that? Or would I break it? <laughs> Keep it going. Oh, but yeah. Because Luna randomly is taking pictures of us and things, it'd be cool if we, by the end of the game, we actually got to see some of the pictures it took. Especially since they went through the trouble of, like, actually giving us a third-person model as we explore. It's a bit like Pando. It's what? I have no idea what you're talking about, Doctor. A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest? Huh, that does sound bizarre. Though maybe. Yeah, we just can't trust things. The few things I have seen of this game from like the couple of uh, gameplay sections they've shown from E3, we haven't even reached those yet. Has been recorded after all. Oh, yeah. But there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Well, then, sir, play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the Doctor. Let's hope so. Gorski to base. I repeat, this is Gorski. Base, come in. No doubt, it's him. Let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Oh, fucker. Confirmation again. I report. I've made an amazing discovery. <laughs> Electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. 
Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. Damn. Through all of this? It's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found, ash to a chip, blown together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay, moving on. That's very intriguing. They've already encountered the remnants of other sentient species? What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Oh, so far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well, I think there might be something to it. By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in his discovery, in spite of everything. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> if your job was randomly being sent to planets that are more than likely all just, like, dead barren worlds, and then you come across this? It would take something moving around that I don't trust to, like, pull me away from discovery like this, too. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. This is starting to look like a deliberate diversion to me. Uh, you may be right. The question is, who's behind all these disruptive activities? That I don't know, sir. <laughs> I hope this isn't like a... Can I scan these? Why, 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 why doesn't she say anything about this? Okay. But the way that some of our options have been for, like, reporting stuff, it almost feels like... I could be... maybe a little bit paranoid. Right? Also, I think this is, like, a backwards oh, thing. I've already been there. I have not. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll move it over here. I think this is where the paths converge. So if I had gone this way, I would have been up here, and then over here. Yeah, there have been a lot of options that are like, oh, something could be sabotaging, or eh, could be nothing. And maybe if we just report everything as, eh, it's nothing. We don't need to be paranoid. This is all just happenstance. Then maybe the way the story goes is that, yeah, it's all just happenstance and nothing bad is really happening. Whoop. We found some footprints. There are more traces. This time handprints. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard me right. As if he fell and then crawled on all fours. Bloodstains? No. Luckily, nothing like that. Well, I guess he doesn't need the metal detector anymore. He's completely surrounded by metal. It's probably just broken, though. And are you seeing anything? Oh. No one of sound mind would decide to go down this way. And yet Gorski... I found something. Again. I'm listening. Uh... uh more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. 
A backpack and a journal, yes. Uh, this scene looks disturbingly similar. Yeah, feels like maybe something is purposely messing with everybody's minds. <laughs> what? Ouch! Yeah, that's no, fair. What is it? I took a shortcut. On purpose? Uh, not really. <laughs> okay. I guess that metal was a little brittle. I'm just trying to make it to Gorski's stuff. What does he have here? He's got some more of the relays. I should have two relays on me. But since we're currently still in contact with Novik, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, I can't go backwards. Fuck. That's a shame. I could have checked the other way. 